Hello, my name is Drake and this is Touching the Edge. Welcome. Welcome to this exploration, this magnificent obsession with happiness. Welcome. Welcome to, com to committing to a happiness that's so resilient that, it's, that you're able to access it from where you truly are in your life. So I'm just here to express to you that we have the ability and the capacity to be happier. And that means a happiness that can accept the fact that we can be brokenhearted. And maybe are even brokenhearted even right now. I'm talking about a happiness that's so profound that we can access it even when we're brokenhearted. Which to me, I'm going to be honest, has been a large percent of the time. And so how do we do this? One of the ways that I would suggest that we do it is each and every single day, commit to soothing and calming your nervous system and doing something after calming your nervous system. Calm your nervous system first. Breathing techniques, get into your body, all, all kinds of different ways. Vocalization, rec reciting mantras and mantrams. And at the same time, Focusing on a positive manifestation. Do the calming first and then a positive manifestation secondly. So there's a lot of different practices that, you, that we can access. And I occasionally, especially, especially with my clients, but I'd like to share this with you as well, to bring up little different practices, many of them that I call micro practices. A micro practice is a practice that you can do anywhere from zero to about two minutes. And what I like to do is season my day, my entire day with micro, micro practices. I have recognized that I have addictive patterns towards, or I have had addictive patterns towards depression, self-hatred, anxiety, irritability, despair. And so what I do is I access micro practices to break up the rhythm because I know that a part of my consciousness has scar tissue and it's going to go back to those old rhythms, those destructive rhythms. So occasionally throughout the day, I do a micro practice to break up that rhythm and to connect me with calm and positivity. And so there's so many different ways. And one of the things that I suggest to my clients is that you begin to you write a list of each and every practice that you know and why, what's the major focus, what's the major uh, effectiveness of that particular practice. You write them down and you put them uh, you know, in a list and you cut that list so that you have each of those, those practices on separate pieces of paper and you put them in a bowl or a hat and you mix them up and you just grab one out and you just open it up and you let it be a discovery. It becomes a nonlinear de-escalation. So nonlinear de-escalation, and I want to suggest that you develop this process for yourself when you're in the world, because you never know when a conflict is going to come up, a sudden inflammation. A nonlinear de-escalation is when you de-escalate the individual without them knowing that you're going to de-escalate, that you are de-escalating them. Now we do this by doing something that surprises them. And the best way to surprise someone else is to also surprise yourself. So what we're working for in a long-term way is a de-escalation of ourselves. And so we're activating a non-linear de-escalation with ourselves. And so by putting all those practices in a, in a hat and mixing them up and just pulling one out, the surprise ends up being part of the de-escalation. Try it. If you do this kind of work consistently day after day after day, it will begin to find yourself in a calmer, more pleasant, happier space. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to ring the bell. Please listen carefully. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for sharing of your energy and receiving this energy, because we can make a difference. I bring my hands together and I bow to you. Namaste, my friend. Thank you.